The Jubilee channel is trying to have us deleted. What a lot of folks don't know is we allow folks to monetize off of our content, right? And that's a deliberate choice that we've made is actually that we could take away their monetization so that they're not making money off of using our content, but we actually give them that permission. And we think that's one of the ways that we continue to operate in the spirit of like our mission. Like I'm, I'm pretty honored in some ways. Much, much, much later. Uh, we had videos recently that were flagged, uh, some new, some old. I appeal it. I go through the same steps that I do with all the other channels. Generally after appeal or two, everything gets uh, undone. But this time, no, they're going forward with the removal. And they're saying if these videos are not removed in the next five to six days, they will delete, they will give us a copyright strike. And there's enough of them that we would probably get three copyright strikes and have all the channels removed. They've already been on the record saying they're fine with this kind of content. What a lot of folks don't know is we allow folks to monetize off of our content, right? Wrong, or at least not anymore. As you can see that ABBA and Preach potentially could get their channel deleted because they have given them three strikes, which if not resolved, will delete their channel and all the other channels associated with it. This is surprising because, in my opinion, they have a pretty good understanding of fair use and watching how they use the content, it falls under the umbrella of fair use. Now ABBA and Preach are big YouTubers with over 2 million subscribers and they plan to fight this with their lawyers, but the worrying part is doing this kind of thing to small channels that don't have the means to fight it. We have seen time and time again, big YouTubers like Pearly Things as well as Fresh and Fit do the same thing. As a matter of fact, Pearly Things in the past has said she doesn't like false strikes but did exactly that to a smaller channel when she thought she had the power to do so. Thankfully, they didn't get away with it, but this is a headache even if you can fight it. So reaction channels, Jubilee is one of the channels to potentially avoid at least until we see the outcome of this. So far, Jubilee has not made a statement on this, and I hope this is just a misunderstanding with the copyright firm that is representing Jubilee. It will be a shame if they don't resolve it because Jubilee does make some great content and a move like this will impact their viewership. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Oh,